And for the second week of this module, by the way, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone, Maharlikans of Grade 7. We are now going to continue the module. We, have, uh, we are now on the module 2, which is just the continuation of the terms that you are going or that we are going to use uh, to the following lessons for the third quarter. So here in this module, we are going to discuss the different kinds of angle pair. Okay, so are you ready for this module too? Okay, so let's start with this. Radial ears, your notes, your paper, so that there's no distraction. Okay, so we'll continue. No distraction, so I will just continue discussion. Okay, let's start. Okay, so let's have the first one, which is the supplementary angles. Okay, so what is supplementary angles? Two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Okay, two angles, the sum is equal to 180 degrees. As you can see on the figure, okay, so in the given figure, the measure of the angle GEH is 60 degrees, and the measure of the angle FEH is 120 degrees. If we are going to get for the sum, so we have the solution, we are just going to combine the two angles, what is the sum? Okay, so angle... GES is equal to 60 plus 120, so is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so therefore, ang, uh, the measure of GES is 60, the measure of angle if ES is 120, is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, these two angles are supplementary, yes, supplementary angles. Correct. And for the second one, complementary angles. When two angles became complementary, two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is equal to 90 degrees. On the uh, figure below, on the figure on the screen, in the given figure, the measure of angle BOD is 60 degrees. And the measure of angle AOD is 30 degrees. When you get the sum of the two angles, what is the sum? 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So, therefore, the two angles are complementary they are complementary angles correct and for number three when two angles became congruent when two angles if have the same measure then they are congruent angles okay so as you can see on the screen we have angle G, which is 42 degrees, and angle S, which is 40 de 42 degrees. So in the given figure, the measure of angle S is equal to 42 degrees, and the measure of angle G is equal to 42 degrees. They have the same measure. Therefore, measure of angle S is equal to measure of angle G, then angle s is congruent to angle g okay so that's two that's congruent angles they have the same measure that's it let's proceed okay so let's have vertical angles number four vertical angles vertical angles are the opposite angles formed when two lines intersect. Vertical angles, therefore, 
are congruent. Okay, so take note of that. Vertical angles are congruent, meaning to say they have the same measure of angle. Angle measurement, the same. Okay, so in the figure, we have angle A and angle B, and angle C and angle D. Given angle A, which is 40 degrees. Okay, so therefore, what is the op opposite of angle E, angle A, which is the angle B? Therefore, let's try this. Find the missing angle. Angle A, the measure of angle A is equal to 40 degrees. Therefore, angle B is equal to what? Angle B is equal to 40 degrees. Very good because they are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. The same measure of angle. And again, so we have angle C. Angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. What is the measure of angle C? When you get the, the, the difference, what is the answer? 140 degrees. 140 degrees. Very good. And then we have angle D. 180 degrees is my, minus 40 degrees. The measure of angle D is 180 degrees minus 40, which is the difference is equal to 140 degrees. Okay, so therefore, angle C and angle D are vertical angles. They are opposite angles. So they are called vertical angles. That's it. Very good. Let's continue. And for number five, adjacent angles. Two angles are adjacent if they are coplanar. They have a common vertex and common side but have no common interior points. Okay, so on the figure, we have the vertex D. Then we have the ray DA, ray DB, and ray DC. Okay, so let's have this uh, uh, analyzed. Angle ADB and angle CBD share a common vertex of D and have a common side, which is side DB. Therefore, the two angles are adjacent. Why? Because they share in one common side, which is the, the side DB, and they have one common vertex, which is point D. Okay? So that is adjacent angle. Okay, so correct. So let's continue to the next one. The next one is linear pair. Okay, so two angles form a linear pair if they are both adjacent and supplementary. Okay, linear pair if they are both adjacent and supplementary. As you can see on the figure, we have vertex O, or yes, vertex O. Then we have angle M, O, E, L. We, the angle measure is 80 degrees. And we have angle N, O, L. The angle measure is 100. So, M, O, L, angle M, O, L, and angle N, O, L are adjacent angle because they share on the common side, which is the side O, L. Okay. So now, if these two when you get the sum equals 180 degrees, yes, because 80 plus 100 is equal to 180 degrees, which is what we call supplementary angles. Therefore, two angles are adjacent angle and they are also supplementary. Therefore, two angles form linear pair. Okay, correct. So let's proceed. Okay, so we have number seven, perpendicular lines, perpendicular lines. Two lines are perpendicular if they intersect. When they intersect, 
deform four right angles. What is right angles? Right angles measure 90 degrees. Okay. So as you can see on the figure, we have line XY intersect line AB. We're in the form right angles because as you can see on the screen of the figure, the angle measure 90 degrees. Therefore, all angles form 90 degrees because one complete revolution is equal to 360 degrees. 360 divided by 4 is 90 degrees. Therefore, line AB is perpendicular to line XY. Okay, so that is perpendicular line. Okay, so we have now parallel lines. Okay, so parallel lines. Two lines are parallel if and only if they are coplanar and do not intersect. These two lines will never meet. Uh, on the figure, we have line M and line N. Line M is parallel to line N. Why? Why they are parallel? If you are going to extend in both sides, they will never meet. Therefore, two lines are parallel. That is parallel line. Okay? So, very good. So, that's all for this module 2. Okay. So, that's all for module 2. Di ba? Napakadali lang. So, dinidiscuss pa lang natin the different terms that we're going to use later on. Okay. So, we're done. So, let's have now. Get ready with your papers, your pencil, because you are now going to answer Let's dig in and let's apply. Where are you going to write your answer? In your paper. Then after that, we will check. Then you're going to put again your paper on the green folder that you're going to submit by your parents before the third quarter ends. Are you ready? Okay, so let's answer. Let's dig in. And let's apply. Good luck, kids.